and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shivana dragons to start off our ranked day today. We got three ranked donation decks. We're heading back on over to rank after uh, two full days of meme tier goodness. Uh, we're going to be starting with a very good deck to begin with, with Shivana dragons. Um, this this version is going to be very similar to a version we played a couple of weeks ago. We kind of have a list that we've updated since then. Um, our champions are going to be one Aurelian Soul at the top end to go along with the Shivanas, and then two Fioras. Basically, the Fioras are going to be in here just being a really good distraction for our dragons. Um, while, while uh, you know, like we can play this, have our opponents like really focus on our my Fiora and, and uh, everything while, and give it just basically bias time to get set up with all of these dragons because we have so many good, powerful dragons. We're, of course, going to be a Grand Plaza deck because uh, that is awesome. And then um, Targon and, and Demacia, as you know, have just so many great spells, especially a bunch of great two-mana spells. So we're going to kind of even them out. We're going to have two Hush, Pell Cascade, and Sharp Sight to go along with the three single combats. The single combat's just the more, most important one to go along with these dragons and a uh, card like Solari Sunforger really wants single combat. I'm going to have two Zenith Blades in here to be able to have the Overwhelm. Giving these dragons Overwhelm can, can be really powerful, especially a card like Shivana. So Shivana, um, you know, has that ability to level up pretty quickly in this deck. Um, and, of course, whenever it does level up, it gets the plus two, plus two each time it attacks. It can get huge for a four drop. And so giving that Overwhelm is really good. So we're playing two of them so that our first one can draw the second. Uh, let's see. But that's kind of about it. Then we got just a bunch of dragons in here. Um, this deck should be pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so let's let's give it a try. It is a little on the slower side, though. Um, but, you know, we have, like, the Solari Sunforgers, the Star Shaping, so we do have some ways to heal our Nexus, even if we do get behind. Here we go. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, we got Puppy back there. Amanda Nando says, whenever I watch your videos, I can't stop watching the dogs. <laughs> Same. I it, it cracks me up sometimes. So, like... You know, I, I, uh, you know I, I, of course, edit the videos afterwards before po posting them up on YouTube to kind of take out some uh, dead time in between. And, and, like, there'll be times, like, so I'll get to watch. I'll watch, like, the dogs walk behind me and do silly stuff. They're both just kind of laying down right now. There's Harvey Harvey and Puppy. Harvey is the bigger one on the left. Um, but it's, it's pretty funny to, like, I don't know, be able to see him whenever they don't think I'm watching. All right, so what are we playing against? Some go hard. All right. Well, we'll just keep these and mulligan the eight mana card. I'm glad that we have Zenith Blade in our deck. This is a very good Zenith Blade matchup because they have a lot of uh, smaller blockers. Thanks, Cabo. Prediction has started. If you'd like to use channel points to predict whether we will win or lose. So that's always the kind of thing to to kind of ask yourself of whether you know whether or not to play this shield bear on two because you know you want to have the multiple spell mana available with with this deck. So like passing on turn two is not usually that bad for our deck because we have you know hush, sharp sight, pale cascade, and a single combat, all of those. Nine total two mana spells that are all very good. Dragon blood heart. So they obviously have things they can play. They pass to me. Um, but I do have a second Shivana. I don't need to worry too much about them killing this one. Me in. Dead in their tracks. This'll send them running. And I am blocking. I guess if I don't block, I have a better Sunforger. No, I'm just gonna block. Shining gifts from the sky. So I am kind of, I guess, you know, like I am already at 20, so I am kind of wasting the life steal. Anyway, it's still a 6-5 challenger for the Twisted Fate, so I'm still going to play it. Bounty 
your farewell. First, go hard. Come closer. I don't bite. Good draw. Gives me a good card to play this turn. You won't suffer long. Warning, take you. I don't want to make Withering Whale and Twist of Fate red card too good. Yeah, I mean they could have both. Gotta go with the flow. All right, second go hard. Egghead Researcher instead of Shivana. Yeah, can't ruin Nation right now, but they could later. We're we're pretty fine with the ruination anyway, with having Egghead Researcher star shaping an Eclipse Dragon anyway. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the Researcher. It was basically gonna be killing their two two anyway. Like right, like this this challenge Elise, this challenge the two two. I'll just throw that down. The reason to the reason to hold on to Egghead Researcher and play Shivana would maybe be to make it easier to turn on the Nightfall for the Eclipse Dragon. Three. So I'll pass to them. If they want to pass to me. be ruination turn so they, they played three go hard so they can they can play ruination or go hard right now yeah go hard would hurt more because obviously it's just one sided ruination plus five nexus damage but it would reset so yeah I could just open attack or you know play a protector they play one of those two and then I Shivana. I'm gonna do that. This is the card they just drew. Okay, they just drew a pack your bags. So that's the, the worst case scenario for me. But I I mean I still have plenty of cards, even though I just you know threw that four drop away. We're going to be just fine on cards. Okay. 
So I think we're going to be just fine still. Because we're going to be just fine against everything else. Yeah, we still got this. So not that good of a... Yeah, like, they probably just have to play it, but not... You know, like, that's not very good because <laughs> the Shivana's dropping back down to a 4-4 anyway, so that one damage doesn't actually stick around. But I guess maybe they just had to... Had to play it. Okay. One card for them. I do love an audience. Be nothing left when I'm done. Break them. I don't. I don't think they're going to be playing atrocity. I'm not really expecting that, but. more sense I do you know I, I do have the five mana for the star shaping still available they uh, would have had that powder keg out now do not we play in build rules Some? Let's go back up to 10. Alright, well I couldn't have stopped that anyway. Still think we're pretty good. Unless both of those are go-hards. Which I guess is possible. Now the next one's going to be pack your bags. That one, that is looking good. Yeah, that was... They got to another one. That was that was a great draw for them. Alright, so that's going to put me to five. And those things will still be alive. Um, we'll go ahead and sharp sight this. Keep that alive. Why not I play the trickster? I guess playing it this turn, of course, does allow me to have 10. So that's why I was doing that. Give me 10 here. Both spells in hand. Wow. Huh. I guess they did have atrocity. Wow. That was not a game I ever expected to lose until they cast that atrocity.
All right, so back to go hard again. Let's just mulligan uh, the eight mana dragon again. All right, so no plaza this time, but still a very good hand. Uh, kind of looking for some spells now. I think that's what we're looking for right now. Okay, so play Shield Bear or keep Sharp Sight Mana available to protect Fiora and Shivana, our next two plays. I kind of think I just keep the Sharp Sight up. No, we, well, hmm. Because, like, playing this as a 3 6 and attacking them for 3 is not really that special, then it's like a 3 2. Just trades with their 1 drop. Okay, so now they have. Four damage coming back at me. That's a little bit more. It's harder to, to pass and take an open attack for four than an open attack for two. Double the damage. So I can definitely see them passing here and not playing, you know, this is like not a great spot to play Twisted Fate or Zap Sprayfin. You know, so they go Twisted Fate gold card, they stun the 3-6, and then my Fiora challenge is Twisted Fate. Come closer. I don't That's too bad. Fight. I was hoping that they would pass and do nothing and that then I would pass also and have them waste their four mana and then I, I get back even with them on mana and just have a good board. Through battle okay, one go hard is burned. They've not played a go hard yet. Looks like that's what they drew, though. Lots of Shivanas. The dragon's rage draws to get out. Let's do this. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Quite unfortunately, my Shivana champion spell just really doesn't do very much. Just doesn't really seem that great. Light. Light. I guess it's kind of my best play, though. Interesting. Nah, it's attacking. We got attack. I love that trade because it unlocks my other Shivanas. That one didn't have anything towards a level up anyway. Not sure how I'm turning on the Nightfall for this other dragon though, right now. Never lost a fair game or played one. So if I single combat, I was hoping they were gold card. Blue card is more rough. Alright, I won't single combat. I think I'll just wait. Hey, Mephistopheles. Fire and fury burn in me. Hmm. Interesting. Devotion through battle! So 
So I know playing like Eclipse Dragon or Infinite Mind Splitter and attacking first would be kind of better, but yeah, neither of these are things they want to block with. All right, this will keep the purple fishes in check. So, like, a Ruination isn't, like, the worst thing for me. If that's, like, how they need to kill my Infinite Mind Splitter. Mind Splitter having Overwhelm would be nice. you allow me to attack? That's cool. I'll attack. Light. I think this makes sense. It doesn't make me any, wor any weaker to Ruination right now. Jaw Hunters? Where did that come from? Golden Sister is pretty great. Alright, so if I single combat, it would just level up Shivana. Nah, we, we should hold on to single combat. Okay. Alright, restart. They got seven cards, I got six. I got the Grand Plaza in play. I'm thinking Shivana plus Golden Sister this turn. And then next turn, Sunforger plus Firebrand. Because I think I want Sunforger on, on my, like, while I'm attacking. So that means, to double spell, that means we have to play Shivana with one of these two. So, therefore, I'm just going to play the Shivana first. Which I could do both Sunforger and Golden Sister next turn. But I'll just do it this turn, I think. They could technically play... Because I think they played two Gohards. So I guess they could technically still play Gohard Packer Bags. Um, in that case, I would single combat. So they could go Firebrand. Yeah, we could go Firebrand. Next turn, have Sunforger, Golden Sister. So if I go Sunforger and then they Ruination again, then I have Golden Sister. To back that up. So that's from Jaw Hunters. Her light is our sword, the warm our armor. So that puts me back to 20. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so that's their last glimpse beyond, right? I think it is. I'll still put us back to 20. We got rid of a draw too. That's their last burble fish. So then I 
The next go hard is pack your bags. We play and build rules. So for silver I talk, for gold I piece it. I'm obviously not playing anything else into packer bags. The Shivana would survive a Packer Banks. I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't think they're fishing for. It. I think they, they absolutely have Packer Banks, and they just wanted me to play more things before casting it. Okay, so this puts us to thirteen. So, Golden Sister, heal me for... You know, like, I don't get, like, full use out of Golden Sister plus single combat right now. So, maybe I wait on that. Maybe we go Eclipse Dragon first. That also has the ability to uh, level up the Shivana. It's all right, T Talamari. Just we just started. We're on the second game today, so you're you're coming in on time. Haven't missed haven't missed too much. Whoa, Tonkrek! Thank you so much for gifting out a sub. To Talamari. Gotta go with the flow. That's our second sub today. All right, so we can uh, definitely assume they just grabbed another go hard, so they're going to be go harding the Shivana. Um, so I could put another Zenith Blade on it to have it easier, you know, have it uh, make it easier for that card to survive. But I kind of think that maybe we should just keep the. Zenith Blade for another thing. So we'll use the Pale Cascade there. So 13. Basically, do we do we survive? Yeah, I think we survive with White Flame. If I go White Flame Protector, Pale Cascade, that's 6. I have the single combat if I have to use it, but I think we still survive. Because, yeah, I'd like the Golden Sister whenever, whenever I'm attacking. We should be fine. Oh, one more mana. That would be pretty good with the Shivana too. You know, or our Nexus, either one. They had a shakedown. Alright, so I can keep Shivana alive, but Shivana's gonna have permanent vulnerable now. I think I just pass.
All right, there we go. That's gonna do it. Got enough life steal, so uh, one and one in that matchup. You know, we got uh, cheesed out by Ledro's atrocity, but one the next time. Okay, so same kind of matchup. Again, another Twisted Fate deck. This is the Fizz version that's pretty popular. They're going to have a lot of elusives. Sharp Sight can be pretty important against elusives. I like this hand just overall. It's, you know, of course, a slow hand. Star Shaping is really good later on. Um, so I'm not sure what to do with the Star Shaping. I, I like it quite a bit, though. I think we're going to just keep it. All right, so they got the good fast hand with turn one Fizz. We need a passing here on turn two. I guess I maybe I'll just play it. I wanted to have, because yeah, I guess I don't really want to open attack at three. I wanted to be able to play this uh, Shield Bear on, you know, like they play something else and then I play Shield Bear and block, but that may not actually happen. But yeah, it would make sense for them to play the slow speed ignition, be able to give the Fizz elusive with that. Pretty happy with that trade. Deal me in. Eyes open. People don't like the gold card. Zero mana, kill your three two. And I don't think I can really afford to just pass and then they pass and I waste all that mana. So I guess I have to do this even though it's not, you know, the best for me right now. Alright, so Cosmic Rays is, can be very, very good in this matchup. You know, they go like real wide with like purple fishes and spray fins and all that kind of stuff. Shuffle. Alright, so that puts him to seven. I assume... Maybe it's a bad assumption. Like, I could hush the, fi the Twisted Fate right now, and so it definitely won't level up. I assume if they had something to level it up, they would have just done that instead of playing the Fizz first, but maybe not. Scary, you know, like it's good, about to level up. That's to the left of the deck name sideways, but somebody somebody took care of it, but yeah, that's that's where it is. Man, that was such a fast uh, Twisted Fate level up. They play it one turn, and then the next turn, I can't, I can't even interact before it's leveled up already. Yeah, 
got great hands, you know, great hands. So unfortunately, I don't have another. I don't have another celestial card for this cosmic rays, but you can see like how good cosmic rays could be. It has that potential, and if like they would definitely just stun this this sun forger. I just I don't think I have any way to to compete here. Um, this thing's gonna get stunned also just gonna get red card then stunned it's but i kind of have to play it i can't just like let them attack for 10 but they're you know may just attack for more more burble fishes and stuff <laughs> oh thanks telemar you didn't have to do that i just i just didn't like the the negative shuffle There's not much more demoralizing than just having a twisted fate just completely destroy you, is there? There's there's nothing I can really do about it, even. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, there's nothing I can do about it. Because, you know, like, I could play the Sunforger and attack, but then they just, uh, you know, gold card it, and then it just gets done. So. All right, one and two. Twisted Fate's still pretty great. A little bit. Okay, so we're playing against Scout. So Grand Plaza, definitely an upgrade over what we have had. Let's get, just get rid of the other three cards. Kind of look for some cheaper spells and units. And keep this Grand Plaza, of course. So good thing the Grand Plaza will give our Fiora and our Screeching Dragon at Challenger. We play and build they rules. definitely need that. So they're playing this on turn two, looking for Misfortune and Grand Plaza on turn three. I hope they find something else. Give us some room. So they already had Grand Plaza in hand and still played that? Weird. Um, let's save the Sunforger. I'm at 19 right now. Let's save the Sunforger. So let's play the Fiora. Two steps ahead. I will cut you down. Oh God. Good card. Good card. Chalk it up to luck. The three Demacians are no easy trip. Um, that's the good news. Like, so yeah, that that uh, repose just killed killed my uh, three three, but it did only just save a pool shark. Saving a pool shark is not a big deal. So I'm at 15 now, um, and we got a backup Sunforger, so we'll play this one. Right, 
Another repost wouldn't be great. I don't have a great answer to repost just in general. Well. I think that means I'm going to... Uh, I guess I sacrificed both of these to kill the Quinn. We're not done yet. pass. If they want to just attack for four, that's okay. My shield is yours. That's a little bit more damage. My faith protects me. Where do you stand on cold shots? Here we go. Trick shot. Her light is our sword, her warmth, our armor. Which I guess I could have played that that uh, dragon before this. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Burn the way out. They gotta be out of repose, right? I think this just ends up with us having a, like, just trading off the board, I think. Okay, never mind. Now they they won't be able to kill my Shivana now by doing that. If they would challenge the Shivana first, and then and then they could have used both the bears to kill the Shivana and then the dragon, so I guess I would have had the 3-2 still. Um, but yeah, now we'll be able to keep the Shivana. Okay. So not the worst for us. It's a good draw. Let's see what they got. All right, so we got two things locked down, and then they also have the two uh, plazas, so they can only really go too wide. Right now. All right, cool. That'll do. We are two and two. Got some interesting games here. Dragons have no remorse. Oh, dragons. Zoe Leeson. All right, so we're definitely getting rid of the judgment, and I think the star shaping also. I think we'll just keep these two. Uh, star shaping could be pretty good, though. 
It really could, but I think we'll, we'll mulligan it to start with. Egghead Researcher. That's a card that we have not been seeing too much of. I like the hush. I want to pass because I want to have the, the two spell mana available later. Cool. So now I can you know play Shivana on turn four and then have the two mana between Hush and single combat to be able to use for spells. Whoops. Fire and fury burn. I can't play Eclipse Dragon yet? What's the deal with that? Mystical levitation requires concentration. They are nothing. Look lively, soldier. So I would like to hush the Mench of the Stones whenever I kill it. I don't want to give them the all the gems. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. But since only Lee Sin can endure the Dragon's Fury... Alright, I'm glad that wasn't Nopify. So we will have Hush for the Lee Sin. Once they like play two spells and give it a barrier. Suffer my fury. And they can't just like hush my fuse firebrand too easily. I mean, they still can, I, I guess. Yeah, I don't think they have Nopify. They didn't Nopify the Zenith Blade, and they're just sitting here, so... That's good. No Nopify, please. Okay. That doesn't... Doesn't save them, because we have the Hush. Alright, so one Lee Sin down. It's not easy to take those Lee Sins down. But we got one of them down. Alright. And the says, I can't do it without you, Lee Sin. I'll never let go. Victory for Jarvin. All right, so we went three and two, and honestly, I think our deck looked really strong. You know, yeah, we went three and two, but you know, the three and two and ranked is a good record for sure. And I think we kind of got cheesed out of that first one with that Ledros atrocity, right? Like I, that was a game I never thought we were losing at all until you know our nexus was below zero, basically. <laughs> Besides that, you know, like so that was. Very close to a 4-1. We really dominated that game. It's just Ledros Atrocity is, you know, that's a thing, I suppose. Yeah, so we got cheesed out of one. Um, and, yeah, like, they were, you know, they didn't have cards for the last few turns there and just were in top deck mode, but, you know, just drew the Atrocity. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, so that was, you know, close to a 4-1 for sure. And the other one was just like that. That was a crazy Twisted Fate hand that our other opponent had, right? Like they played Twisted Fate on what turn four or turn five, one of the two. I think actually turn four, and then leveled it up immediately. I even had a single combat. Yeah, it was turn four because I couldn't. Yeah, because I couldn't play the. Um, I I couldn't play my five mana dragon yet. My screeching dragon. Whenever they played it. So they played on turn four and then just immediately leveled it up with uh, pick a card, rummage stuff like that. So pretty crazy uh, Twisted Fate hand. But I think this deck is really, really good. I do. I think that um, I'd be pretty confident in, in playing this deck a lot and winning a lot with it. Um, wanted to try out in Violas Vox. Didn't, didn't get to really ever play that, but that would have been great against like those Go Hard decks. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think this is just a really, really good solid deck. One of the one of the best in the format. I would I would honestly probably say maybe the best in the format. Um, all right, so there we go. So that's Shivana Dragons. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course feel free to leave those comments as well. I always love seeing those, so feel free to leave those. But that's all I got here for Shivana Dragons. 
So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.